Dimpleplasty. How long is the indentation visible when not smiling? I want to get dimples, but I'm worried about the deep indentation and wonder how long the indentation will stay visible. Is it necessary to make a very deep dimple scar in order for the dimple to stay permanent? I hear many experience their dimples not looking as deep by three months, and many even experienced losing their dimples. Thank you for your question. You submitted a question without a photo, but basically you're expressing in your question that you're concerned about having a crease or a dimple that's constant after undergoing dimpleplasty even when you're not smiling. And you're asking how long will it last, how deep will it be, and you're also expressed that people have actually seen their dimples disappear, surgically created dimples, after a few months. So understanding that this, these are very reasonable questions that actually come up in our practice a lot, um, I can certainly help you with this question. A little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years and dimpleplasty has been kind of one of our interesting niche areas that we've become well known for and have patients coming from from all over and uh, uh, we were even featured in media for dimpleplasty and uh, what's, uh, what's particularly uh, interesting about dimpleplasty is that it essentially it looks like a straightforward procedure but there are a lot of elements that are actually deceptively complex and sometimes makes it um, a little bit less predictable than a lot of cosmetic procedures. And I'll explain that further. Basically, a natural dimple it occurs because of a, a, a defect that's in a muscle called the buccinator muscle and it allows a little connection to occur between the skin and that muscle so that when you smile you get a dimple. And so what we do with dimpleplasty is from the inside of the mouth, inside the cheek, we create a connection between the buccinator muscle and the skin. And there are a few different techniques on how to, how to get this done and it, it, uh, I, I've developed a kind of a variation in a, of, of, my, of, a, of a technique that will, in my hands, usually work pretty consistently, predictably. But I can certainly tell you that in, in terms of the first question, part of your question, how long does the indentation appear even when you're not smiling? Well, it will, it, in, in my hands, for whether someone has thick skin or thinner skin and have uh, whatever their um, anatomy is, it does, it will last for several months. And it's one of the first things I warn people about is that they're going to have this indentation that even at rest it will still be present. What I find interesting is that they, they this, this issue has been pretty much not an issue for the people who are so motivated to have dimples. Like they'll understand that that's part of the process. And interestingly, socially, it doesn't seem to draw as much attention as you would consider or you'd predict that essentially having a constant dimple doesn't seem to draw that much attention, even though I've always been concerned about people being self-conscious about it after it's done. That being said, it does fade over time so that there's actually more likely that there'll be a little natural dimple when you smile. Now it's difficult to make it perfect, it's difficult to get it exactly symmetric, it's difficult to get the both sides to be exactly the same depth, but nature already in human faces there is relative asymmetry. Now of course people point out certain actors and and other celebrities and they bring pictures to show me how beautiful their dimples are and they want the same dimples and I just would say that essentially these people very often were more likely than not to be born with these dimples and they have made a career out of their appearance because they are amongst the very fortunate to have 
a greater symmetry and, the, and ideal proportions with the added benefit of dimples. However, this is something that you have to consider. You have to consider that dimpleplasty does result in a, in a static constant dimple in the first several months which fades slowly, that there is a risk that the dimple will disappear and you'll need revision surgery, and that there may be some degree of asymmetry, but in the, in the ideal we want to maximize asymmetry and so we try to do everything we can preoperatively to place the dimple, um, mark it appropriately, and try to anticipate the behavior of the skin. You know, nature gives us a little bit of room to work, and usually staying within that space, which is a relatively small space, we're able to create some consistent results. But there are certainly patients who I have to do revision procedures on, or I have to do other variations um, to create dimples, um, which also depends on the internal anatomy of their cheek and the positioning of very important structures, such as the uh, uh, as the salivary duct inside the mouth. So it's, uh, there's, uh, there, like I said, it's deceptively complex, but is a, it is certainly a very fulfilling pa procedure. People who get these dimples are just thrilled about the results, and they just, uh, very often, they, they were so excited about having dimples, and once they get them, they, they love the results. Very often, they, they want them deeper, uh, but basically, that's a, that's a balance, and as long as we create a good, natural looking dimple, I think that we've achieved success. So I think you should meet with doctors who perform dimpleplasty and understand what you, and really express your concerns. And if you're not comfortable with a, the presence of static dimples for the, for the first few months, just don't do it. I think that uh, it's very important to have that, that conviction and commitment and to be able to ride through those first few months and then allowing it, allowing this to evolve. So um, again, meet with doctors who perform dimpleplasty and see, see if this is the right choice for you. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. And thank you for your question.